Hello students, welcome to the next video of Trichopedia and in this video I am going to talk about the Boolean function implementation using multiplex is a very important area uh, you know for almost all competitive examinations and we are going to implement it you can not directly okay not by a conventional method but through the implementation table now what is the implementation table and what are the mistakes students sometimes uh, you know usually commit in the implementation table all that I will try to address in this short video. So let us get moving ahead okay so i have a question here in front of you implement a boolean function with a 4 cross 1 max and inverters extra inverters are allowed okay the boolean function is summation m0157 now out of the three variables uh, b and c should be at the select lines that is uh, specified and that has to be specified otherwise it is specified usually in terms of diagrams as well in the option now bc should be at the select lines okay so what will happen to the a a will be going at the input lines okay so now have a look into uh, have a look into the implementation table but before i show you the implementation table how to form the implementation table that must be understood so suppose these these are the eight combinations of three bits abc out of this this has to go at the input line okay mark what has to go at the input line okay now where is a zero okay a is equal to zero at the first four min terms that is zero one two three if you code in decimal okay then one double zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 that is four five 6, 7, okay, at these combinations A is high, okay, and at the first four combination A is low, so now look into the implementation table, here it is in front of you, there will be two rows, one corresponding to A bar and one corresponding to A, A bar of course represent the cases when A is low, okay, so A is low at 0, 1, 2, 3, then A, A means A should be high, okay, that is at the 4, 5, 6, 7, this is how the implementation table is, there are four columns corresponding to the four input line, four cross one marks is there, and it will have the four input lines I0, I1, I2, I3, next step is you have to highlight the given min terms of the function, okay, so 0, okay, 1, highlight means bubble or do anything, any highlighting, 5 and then 7 and now do column to column analysis. So now first column only one circle is there and that is corresponding to A bar. Okay, so input line I0 will be A bar, that's what, this is what the trick using the implementation table. Now when both are circles, it means A bar plus A, so A bar plus A is 1. When nothing is circled, so 0 and when there is a circle in the second row, that is corresponding to A. Okay, so the third input line, the I3 will connect to the A. Okay, so if you want to see in terms of the diagram, the answer will be the input lines will be A bar 1, 0, A. Have a look into this picture. Okay, A bar goes here. Yes. Okay, then 1. Okay, what was the next one? 1 and then 0 and then A goes to the I3. This particular function, this particular multiplexer will implement a given Boolean function. Okay, now let me change the select lines. Okay, now let me change what is there at the select line. So different function 0, 1, 2, 4, 7. Okay, using A, B at the select line. So C goes to the data line. C goes to the input line. Now normally why I am discussing this similar 3, 4 cross 1 max case, 3 variable because again, you know, the habit of students is they will start using the same implementation table as earlier. No. Okay. In implementation table that was corresponding to the A bar and A. Now you, are, you have to make the implementation table according to C bar and C. So you once again have to look into the combinations. Once again you have to look into the 8 combinations and where is C bar? C bar means C should be 0. Okay. So these are the alternate cases. That is 0 and 2 and 4 and 6 in decimal and rest of the alternate combinations. Okay, that is 1, 3, 5, 7 is the case where C is high. Okay, C means this bit, third bit I am looking into, right. So now implementation table C is changed. Earlier it was 0, 1, 2, 3 consecutive, consecutive. Now it is 0, 2, 4, 6 because C bar is to be there. 1, 3, 5, 7 because of C. Now uh, remaining procedure is similar. Highlight 0, 1, 2, 4, 7 to 0, 1, 2, 4, 7 and write down your answers. Both circle 1. Only top C bar, only top C bar, only bottom second row that is C. Okay, so the input to the multiplexer should be 1, C bar, C bar, C. 1, C bar, C bar, C. Have a look into the answer here. 1, okay, here goes C bar, here also goes C bar. Okay, here goes C. Okay, 1 C bar C bar C. Okay, this particular multiplexer will implement the given Boolean function. Okay, now there can also be the cases, okay, where you have only the 4 cross 1 max. Okay, but there is a 4 variable function. Okay, there is a 4 variable function. Okay, that can also be asked. Okay, can I do this with implementation table? Yes, otherwise usually students will again go to conventional approach. Okay, now... 4 cross 1 max will have two select lines. Okay, C and D will be the select line. So, A and B will go to the data line. Okay, but because, okay, the number of variables are increased, you are allowed to use extra logic gates. Okay, okay, then only 4 cross 1 max can be used here. So, how to do here? Use the similar idea. So, what is the similar idea? First, 
okay before i make the implementation table i will write down all the 16 combinations of the four bits okay the four variables are a b c d out of which a b will be at the select lines c d at the uh, sorry c d at the select lines so a b at the data lines okay you have to focus that a b at the data lines and a b can be in four states 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so where is a b 0 0 look into the first four cases where a b 0 0 so i will write down a bar b bar okay wherever it is 0 1 okay 0 1 corresponds to a bar b okay a b 1 0 okay a b bar okay a b is 1 1 both 1 1 so that is the AB. So four rows will be there in implementation table. Now where AB is 0, 0, what are the min terms? Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 0, 0, 1, 1. That is in decimal, it is 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, next 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, next etc. 8, 9, 10, 11. Next 12, 13, 14, 15. And next is again highlight. Okay, again highlight the given uh, uh, min terms. So you have 0, then you have 2, you have 5, 6, 7 quickly, then 8, 9. Okay, then 12 and then 15 and now look into this okay there are two circles corresponding to a bar b bar and a b so a bar b bar plus a b what is a bar b bar plus a b okay that is a xor b okay now there are two circles a bar b plus a b bar a bar b plus a b bar that is known as a xor b okay these two are circles a bar b bar plus a bar b okay a bar common b bar plus b will be one okay so it is a bar okay second and fourth okay a bar b plus a b so b commonly a bar plus a will be one so what is left is here is b okay now we can draw the circuit diagram corresponding to it a x or b a a x not then x or then a bar and then simply b okay have a look into the answer figure okay first a x or a x nor b then a x or b so just to create the x or i have taken the inverter complement of x nor is x or then you have a bar and then you directly have the b this particular four cross one max will give in the you know will implement the given Foolean function so even four variable uh, function can be implemented okay by the technique of implementation table okay so i hope you have liked this trick okay do follow our channel for more such tricks to follow do subscribe to the channel thank you stay safe and take care of yourself